Well, I'm told back uh, by Christy and all of them, we have a package from Natalie Morales from the Today Show mm -hmm. that brings us up to date on the uh, on where we are with the uh, with the Trump uh, uh, Barbara Walters Rosie deal. Do we want to play that or not? Do we, do we want to play that, Donald, or not? I think so because I looked very good on that clip. <laughs> okay, so all right, so it's, you know, it's all about look. It doesn't matter bet. what you say; it's how you look. That time I look good, so I definitely play it. Okay, Let's rack it up. All right, it starts now with a comment from the View. Roll out, uh, Bigfoot or, or Big Butt, whatever. What can you say about that guy? That poor, pathetic man. Yes. You just can't. You just can't let go. But the we're man on. is obsessed with me. <laughs> I'm happy to say his show tanked. <laughs> when somebody attacks, I believe in attacking back. It does look good. Donald Trump's name was never even uttered Wednesday on The View, but the attack on him and his NBC reality show The Apprentice was clear to Trump. Rosie lies. The Apprentice ratings were fantastic. It was the most successful show in the last 14 months in that time slot. And Rosie made the statement, oh, the show bombed it, bumped it. You're fired. <laughs> And according to the Nielsen ratings, Sunday's premiere of The Apprentice, now in its sixth season and this time on location in Los Angeles, showed growth up 5% over the fifth season and winning the time slot. As for The View, the ratings are also up 24% from the same time last year. And since the war of words with Trump got underway, an average of about a half million more viewers have tuned in. A fact Trump is more than happy to point out. Rosie is a very sad figure, and watch what happens. After I'm finished with this, and the view goes back to being the view, those ratings will tank. Trump continues to insist that when Walters phoned him last month, she did make disparaging remarks about O'Donnell, no matter what Walters is saying now. Because that's what she said. I hope Rosie's listening. That's what she said, Rosie. And how does Trump feel about Walters? Well, I feel sorry for Barbara because she's just a puppet now of Rosie. But the women of The View are outwardly showing a united front. Are you okay, Barbara? I'm okay, darling. Are you okay? I'm okay, too. We're both okay? Trump, Those however, is still okay. not okay with O'Donnell. She's disgusting. You know, why go there? Why, why go with the slob and, and the comments and calling her disgusting? And I actually like my hair, but she's always, you know, knocking it. There he is, hair looping going sort of interesting. She can criticize my hair, but I'm not allowed to criticize her. You want me to come back? We'll have a big story. I'll come back, right? You know, I actually like my hair, but she sort of thinks like, uh, because she has nothing else to say. For today, Natalie Morales, NBC News, New York. Well, here's my first observation. Don't say that The Apprentice tank when the, when the ratings are up and it won the time slot. <laughs> You're an idiot. You can't say that. John, it was the number one show in the last 14 months on NBC at that time slot. Oh and, God. by the way, against Desperate Housewives, another thing. Yeah. You know, I mean, after six seasons, we had 15 copies of The Apprentice, 15, everyone bombed. And this thing's still going strong after six seasons. And I got to listen to this slob tell me it bombed. You know, so I believe in attacking back. And the one thing I'm very disappointed in, I just heard that my segment is sponsored by somebody. What the hell is that all about? You're supposed to be paying me, Don. I mean, Northfolk Bank, that's one of my banks, and they're a great bank. And John Canos is like one of the greats, right? Well, yeah. But I can't believe they're paying for me to go on television. I don't like this. I've got guys, I've got hundreds of guys begging me to do clips and do this, and, and they're paying Imus. So I don't know what the hell's going on here, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, well, my, well, my original observation about the uh, Miss USA thing was here Trump, uh, in my, it, was, it was my view and a lot of other people's view, he did, did, he did this magnanimous thing. Absolutely. And then so, so, so her criticism of him was idiotic, was beyond idiotic. <laughs> I mean, if everybody who made a mistake in their life was precluded from doing anything else in their life, I wouldn't have a ranch for kids with cancer. You think parents from all over the world would send their kids out to somebody who was a drug addict and a drunk? Is but I gave, I gave Miss USA a chance. I gave yes. her a second chance, and What's Rosie it? went nuts. But you have to understand, I know Rosie. I have a history with Rosie. Rosie understands that I know her. And she wasn't really as upset about that as she is about me. And, you know, that, huge, that news conference was very large, to put it mildly. It was like a monster. Nobody could even believe it. And, you know, I gave her a second chance, and it was a great thing to do. And she yes, went nuts. And I had a choice. I could just sort of let it pass.
Right. Or, you know, I have an expression. When you deal with scum, you have to treat them like scum. And, you know, Rosie is scum. She's yeah. garbage. And I hit her hard. I hit her between the eyes. You know, I learned a long time ago in high school, when you have a bully, hit him hard right between the eyes. And that's what I did. And, you know, every poll is showing 91%. The fact is, people hate Rosie. And her ratings are up. You know why her ratings are up? Because of me. <laughs> When I stop with this stuff, which maybe will take me a long time because I'm actually enjoying it, but when I stop with this stuff, I guarantee you that those ratings are going to plummet because it's a dead show. It's a, it's a boring show. So uh, Barbara Walters called you and said what she said, and I, uh, I've known her a long time, and I suspect uh, that, I mean, I'm just trying to be an, a, a, an objective observer here. There wouldn't be any reason for you to make this up. I mean, so I know that she... But well, Don, why else would she call me? Would she, she was exactly. in Europe. She was on vacation. Why else would she call me? Rosie had just but rant and rave like a maniac. She didn't expect you to say anything. That's well, actually, she called because she heard I was going to say something. Yeah. And that's when she said, Donald, don't go in the mud with pigs or, you know, something to right. that effect. I wrote it out in the... Don't go in the mud with pigs. And she said that very specifically. And what she really wanted me to do is go on the program as soon as she got back. And I said, you've got to be kidding. I'm not going on that program with that animal. <laughs> and she then, you know, made various statements. And the statements were, you know, everyone believes that she made the statements. Yeah. And if you notice, Don, if you notice, she never denied that she made those statements. You know, she's done everything. I thought it was very sad when Rosie hit her. In other words, they worked this out backstage. Yeah. The other day, one of the saddest moments in Barbara's career was when Rosie hit her about what do you think of him and she was sort of caught off guard and she was given a line to read and she looks down at the table at her cue card no. and says that poor pathetic man you know it was sad to me it was sad to watch it and it was about me <laughs> yeah I mean if you but uh, but uh, I mean I what I suspect happened was that she just didn't think you would repeat what she said to you I mean, I'm sure that's what you, she's, and if that's the case, well, she, she should didn't have, tell me not to, Don. You know, exactly. She, would have told me, she, Please, have told let's, she never said, let's have this conversation at conference. Yeah. You know, and if she would have said that, I would have been honored to do that. But she didn't say that. No. She called me, and I related the call to people. <laughs> and by the way, everybody agrees with me. But Barbara's never denied my letter. She's never said, oh, I never made those statements. And the other day when they went on, I, ex you know, after that letter went out, yeah. I fully expected that they were going to go over my letter and that. Barbara was going to try and refute it, but she can't refute it because she knows that's what took place, and she probably knows that I have irrefutable proof. <laughs>